Hello and welcome back to Let's Play XCON 2. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, do we have anything we really want from Proving Ground at all? Not really, okay. Uh, O'Peering, get off of that please. Um, clear out this room please, if you can. I kind of would like to get down to the uh, power core because I think I've been told that the power core has a bonus to power. I could be wrong with that though. Anyway, oh no, I was going to look at building some of this stuff because I keep forgetting about her down the way, down all the way down here, down all the way down here. Oh my goodness! Don't mind me, I'm just completely failing at everything. Um. Hmm. You know what, let's build the nanoscale vest first. Do I need to build one for everyone? I guess so? I don't know. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Five is a slight bit too much now I think about it. Oh well. I was uh, thinking about going after this black site, but I still don't think we're actually good enough yet. I just don't. I think we need a lot more than what we've got. Avenger plotting new course. Anyway, we'll do this one first, then we'll go and pick up the supplies. Yeah, we'll do this really quickly. Commander, oh. we've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy oh. it to set back the aliens' operation. Uh Okay, well, bugger. To say the least. You do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. <coughs> I find it unusual, to say the least, that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. I find it truly remarkable how adaptable some of the alien species' genetics are uh, to the constant tweaks they are often subjected to. In the case of the Viper, a species identified as an infiltration unit known as the Thinman, the aliens have made conscious uh, reduction in the efforts to disguise their true form. Without the introduction of intensive human genetic material, the Viper reverts to its purely reptilian form while apparently retaining some intellect and combat aptitude. The, snake -li the Viper snake-like form is in many ways similar to legless reptilians uh, we commonly encounter on Earth. The enhanced torso musculature allows for the upright mobility, and the addition of two physically weak but capable arms allows for the handling of traditional weaponry. Of the many alien species our troops are likely to encounter in the field, I find the prospect of encountering an intelligent snake standing two meters tall to be among the most disturbing. Hmm. Battlefield medication. The venom injected by the viper is uh, into its venom is nasty stuff compared to taking the uh, e uh, uh capable of taking down even the toughest and biggest soldiers. However, it also contains a number of enzymes that could be isolated in our medkits, greatly improving the coagulation effect. Hmm. I want psionics, but at the same point, magnetic or plated armor is probably going to be better for everyone. Ah. Uh. One minute, I'll roll the dice. Five. Okay, magnetic weapons then. I 
I'd assume you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll what? notify you as soon as the report is available. You know which way dice are gonna roll? Holy crap! I need you in the field! It's like rolling dice in the middle of a battle. Oh, Commander. Uh, anyway, armor. No? Oh, okay, I thought I had. I guess it was a. Uh, proving kind of thing? <clears throat> yep, it's a battleground thing. Right, cool. Ah, uh, continue. Ah, uh, carry on until the next one is cleared. There we go. View room. Once the AWAC is... AWC is built, soldiers gain boost ability outside of their current class. Whenever they are promoted, in addition, the engineer can be staffed at the AWAC to decrease the time the soldiers need to recover from injuries. Okay. Oh, that would be really nice. Here at Commander, we've pushed our current power system to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Maximum power consumption reached. And we need, uh, relays. No, not relays, uh, supply. We'll go and pick up the supply a bit later. Commander, Review targets. With the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. I'm going to go for the one that slows down their breakthrough, honestly. Because I think that's probably the best way of going about it. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the uh. Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. Sergeant Corporal. Uh, I'm gonna kick myself out, honestly. Um. Hmm. hmm. We have a lot of sharpshooters now, I notice. I'll take Gale along. Uh, have you got the new weapon? No, why do you keep hitting upgrade weapon? Probably because it's glowing. Kill, you've got the arc blade. That's nice. Oh, really? It has to go there? Oh, that's rawr, rawr. Rawr. No. Okay. Ah, let's say. Well, now we know, I guess. Damn it. That's basically useless. That's. Oh, ah. Sky Ranger deployed. Begin mission. This ah. Oh. Resistance operative managed to rig up some sort of data interception device to access points on the advent network running through here. The data is apparently critical to the aliens' latest operation. They're already moving to destroy the device. We're heading in to make sure that doesn't happen. Take out okay. any hostile targets nearby. Secure the AO and protect that device. So run and shoot everything. Run away. Cool. Should theoretically be okay with us. Hopefully, we'll be okay with it, I should say. I kind of want uh, mag weapons before I take the dark facility on. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. 10-4. Uh Yeah, just hide behind the car. Time to motor. Uh 
Can I move over there, please? And move there. Ten four. Oh. That's so very close to a flank position of one of our officers. Please stop shooting it. Uh, proper position is there. <sighs> We're probably gonna have to let this ambush we'll pass. You can always just fling a grenade and start off. Hmm. Okay, we'll get you into Overwatch. And you into Overwatch. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess you can launch the frag. About here. Fire in the hole! Then he locked us to the end one. Because he'll start running and then he'll get shot, hopefully. Nice. Not enough to kill, but enough to win. Uh, can I do that? No, not fire weapon. Like, how do I... Oh, yeah, whatever, that'll do. <laughs> okay, that blade sounded cool. I'll admit, that blade sounded really cool. As long as they stay distracted shooting that, I'm pretty happy, honestly. Move here just okay. so you get to see. Okay. Uh. Hmm. That may not want to uh, be a thing that I wanted to see. Yeah, okay, you'll get around back Roger here. That. Uh, you move around oh this no. way. And then, theoretically, cover oh Gale. Uh, aid protocol. Again, theoretically, Gale's the one that's going to be attacked, so aid him. And then go into Overwatch. <clears throat> and 
Ooh, hi. Sixty-three is the best chance to hit. It's not great, so just going to regular Overwatch. Not who I wanted to trigger Overwatch, honestly. I'll get him next time. <sighs> come on, snipe him. Oh, come on! That was clearly hit. Pop him in the head. Well, you hit. Nice. And you missed. I'm under fire. Nice. Kind of surprised Gale didn't get the attack though. Um. Yeah, take cover there, please. If you say so. And take him out. Right. Good job. Um, it has to be dead. I'm it is dead. Ammo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Skulljack. Come on, we are rolling the dice with 70%. Jack, oh. yeah. Nice! <laughs> Complete access to the Advent Psionic Network. I have dedicated our system to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. Oh. I've got access. Huh? Oh, hi there. Commander. That appears to be the codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. This is possibly a silly idea now I think about it. Why did they do that? Oh, that car is going to blow up and... Ah. Oh. What? I have never seen anything like this. The Codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. Oh, you... Oh, you... Ah, rah, rah. Well, I've already done the damage. Because I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, should I... She's the last one. I'm sorry, I've already done the damage. Please don't blow up car yet. Give it one more turn. One more turn before you blow up car. That's all I ask. It's just one turn. appears to be in a state of flux, existing simultaneously across multiple dimensions. Oh, well, I don't like the look of that. Eek. Okay, well, we survived. Or, he survived. Yeah. Uh goodbye. No taking fall damage? Oh that's fine. Oh you did, okay, cool. Excellent work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. Uh, that's on fire. That's probably a bad idea. Uh, stand up. behind this, I guess? I don't want to be near that thing. You know what? No, further. I don't trust it. Tall. 
Someone feel free to tell me if that is dangerous, because it looks dangerous. Got it covered. But I don't want to be anywhere near it. Stay where you are, Gail. Yeah, I think I'm glad I wasn't near that. That doesn't look pleasant, to say the least. Stand behind that for now. Ah, uh, Overwatch. Moving the designated coordinates. Admin forces on the ground. Oh, that's brilliant. So how did I see them if they're basically in a fog of war now? Uh. Sounds better than none. Nice! That didn't kill though, did it? No. Ah, so close. One five. We've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all costs. I'm not flinging my man in like an idiot. Sure thing. For now, just aid protocol, because uh, he's nowhere near the fight. Okay. There we go. I am going to... Move forward. Copy that. Come on. Stop that! Seriously. No, it's really doing much bad, to be honest. No, don't you dare try and mind control. Don't you dare! Oh, you just panicked him. No, that's... Okay, well... It's one way of panicking, good. Can the sniper see, I wonder? Like, can the sniper see anything? The sniper can see one target. Uh, may as well take pop shot. Mess. Right, well, next turn we can try and sniper. Main sign, you move there. Can you gremlin heal yourself? Yes, you can. Yeah, we may as well pop it on ourselves. Healer mode. Right, cool. Ah, uh, move over there. Forty-seven percent chance to ah uh, go for it. Ah. Adjusting sights. That's it. I'm out. Come on. Oh, survive. Ooh. Good thing you missed. Somehow. Oh. 
Oh, please stop hitting that. Seriously. Oh, no. No, come on. Ah, oh, you... Reload. Back online. Uh, tickle. Can you take her? Oh, you need to reload first. Ready to rock. Well, can you get her? Come on, eighty-four percent chance. Nice. It's about to say bloody hell if you can. I, I definitely got that one. No, really? Wow. Uh, we can only carry you. Ah! Crumble. Hmm. Oh, we have a chance of completely killing it. Do you know what? I'll do that next turn. Shoot him in the face. God damn it, Gail. Get it together. Gonna need to reload soon. Hmm. Oh, may as well try it. Go for it. Unfortunately, he's overwatching now. Can I come through actually this direction? Moving. Come this way. Ah, uh, seventy-one percent chance. Go for it. Nice. Yep, that is the only problem, but we got you. Uh, to kill someone. Right, so... Hmm. Uh, move Absolutely. forward. Can you get a good shot? Uh, not spectacular. Go for it, though. Nice! Great work. By the numbers. Right, tickle, move up, and I'm then we'll overwatch you, you. Right, come on, tickle. Tickle them to death! Tickle them to death! Or you know, just destroy half the terrain. Oh, that's cool. Attempt it! Go for it! Come on! We got 88% chance of killing it! No! Oh, well, not 88% chance to kill it, but you know. Oh. If you save 
say so. Come on, hopefully we can head up from there. Come on. Yes! Check it before you get too close. Ammo out! Status confirmed. All officials are down and the area is secure. <laughs> yes! Mission accomplished. Alirium core and an advanced scope. Sweet. I'll take that. Object secure. Whew. Okay, well that was tight. Like that was quite sore. Wait, somewhere though. The only person that ended up uh, down was the unconscious sniper. Don't tell me that she's meant to be gravely wounded now. Ah. Oh. Uh, average cover bonus at 23.6. That's not good. It's a touch low, if you ask me. But hey. We did what we could. Anyway, I heard that pressing caps lock twice makes it load faster, which it just did. It made it load immediately there. I'm probably going to have to try that more. I was told by, um... My friend's brother, that I load the faster. So yeah, it's actually pretty good. Oh, most people are wounded or gravely wounded. Ah, uh, Blade Master. One minute, let's just make sure. Yeah, Blade Master. Especially now, seeing as I was getting more powerful. Commander, please Ooh. thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the Codex Brain. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, plus 10 aim for the scope. That's quite good. Unlike the conventional encryption methods we would typically encounter in the terrestrial data stores, the aliens appear to be using advanced matrix consisting of both mechanical and biological ciphers, combined with some form of psionic interfer interface. The thought of uncovering the aliens' most complex designs is both intriguing and frightening in equal measures. Hello, Commander. Yay! We got Vlad Tepes, the Grenadier. Oh. New objective added. Tell me more. Oh, we still have to investigate the black side. Research the alien encryption. We'll do that probably later. Okay. The aliens are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. You'll have to tell me if you're happy with that. I, I think he's kind of cool. He did have the relaxed. I don't know why he's not got the uh, relaxed one now. That's a bit annoying. For some reason, it doesn't save their attitudes because I left him as relaxed. So he would have like had that gun slung over his shoulder and stuff like that. Ah, it's annoying. It's annoying and a half. Uh, but anyway, let's promote Shredder or Blast Paddy? Uh, Shredder. You shouldn't be in an explosion. That would be a bad thing if you ended up in an explosion in the first place. Just say. Um. Hmm. Wait, was that Gale? Commander? That was Gale, wasn't it? Ah, oh, damn it, I can't see now. Grr. Uh, let's have a look. I am still hard at work on the current research priority, Commander. Eleven days for a working okay. within the tight constraints of the Avenger. I've had a difficult time finding room to conduct some of our more theoretical experiments. Perhaps the next time we set down. And with that, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.